The cause of CDH isn't really known. Um, few cases are actually genetic related and, and we know a few mutations that can cause, be associated with congenital dichromatic hernia. But the majority of cases we see are actually what we call sporadic. We don't know the cause. This is no one's fault. That hole in the diaphragm just forgot to close and we have to deal with the consequences. Most cases don't tend to run in families. Most people won't be able to say that, you know, cousin Jimmy or Uncle Joe had this. Um, it's usually the most of the families we meet, it's the first time they've ever heard of it. It's uh, an extremely frustrating clinical diagnosis. We have made progress. It's the sort of thing that you sort of slog away at. Um, little incremental changes can, can have an impact. And over time, little steps create big steps to create giant steps. The commitment to delving deeper um, happens at every level. The answers to how we care for diaphragmatic hernias are going to come from our laboratory and our clinical experience. There's this ping pong game between the clinic and the research laboratory, between the laboratory bench and the bedside. One depends on the other to actually advance what we do. Rather than going and fixing the hole in the diaphragm, what we really need to focus our research on is trying to make the lungs grow so that when the baby is born, there's sufficient lung size in order to exchange respiratory gases. The collaboration between surgery and, and research um, is part of that responsibility to, to push, push things forward. We have an obligation to do research. We have an obligation to educate. There's an ongoing commitment to take what we've learned. And speak to our colleagues in the field, at other centers, in other countries. So that you're able to further the work that's being done on birth defects and getting answers. We are totally devoted to caring for these children. When you're able to focus all your energy, all your effort, all your team on dealing with birth defects, and you have the significant volume of babies with birth defects, you are able to change the world. You're able to change the face of birth defects. Simone is 10 months now. She's doing really well. She's extremely active and she's moving all around and grabbing things and pulling up and trying to crawl. It seems like there's something new every day, something that she wasn't doing the day before and I'm just amazed. People say to us, I can't believe that she went through all of this. Look at her, she's like 100% healthy. 